today I'm going to go ahead and check out Midnight Movie. Right. You should give her a break, Bobby. That was strong stuff you gave her. Five bucks if the blonde gets naked. It's a horror movie. Somebody always gets naked. You now the concession girl said this movie's like 40 years old. I heard that they actually killed people when they made the movie. It's just some urban men. This is the first screening of his movie since he disappeared. If he's out there, he'll show up. The prank of all pranks. It's so up there. Yeah, yeah, I know. Oh! <laughs> It's not real. I'm not gonna look like a fool on some reality show. This ain't a TV show. It's the killer from the movie, and he's here in this theater. <laughs> no, they say scary movies are an aphrodisiac. If you get turned on by this, we're breaking up. Okay, basically, as you saw in the trailer, kids, they go watch a movie. Um, the movie they're watching, the guy who made the movie, directed or whatever, ended up really killing people, supernatural killing film movie thing, whatever. So kids are, you know, at the theater, they're watching a movie. It starts out, they're doing their typical cliche um, storyline of, we're going to college soon, I'm going here, you're not going here, well, I won't go, I love you, I can't leave you. That whole bunch of crap could have been eliminated from the start. They could have went right down to watching the movie, the movie roles they play. They didn't have to set up any of that. So, five, ten minutes right there, cut it. Basically, the movie they're watching is like House of a Thousand Corpse meets Leatherface. It's just kind of a old-fashioned 1970 style psycho killer that brings people to their house, and the mom's there, and she's in on it. You know, my boy, oh, you brought friends, that kind of stuff. So, I don't know which was better, the actual movie we watched or the movie that was in the movie. Movie, movie. And also you have the detectives who are obsessed with finding the killer who, when this movie was made, went and killed everyone. So they're obsessed with trying to find him because he's going to return, which makes this a lot like a Michael Myers theme all of a sudden. So you have House of Thousand Corpse, Leatherface, Michael Myers. It's a lot of, uh, all rolled up into one there. So, go forward, the killer starts killing people, they're watching the movie, he's killing people, they're like, oh, you know, that's not so bad, uh, you know, it's boring, uh, well, the next kill will be better. Then, all of a sudden, real life happens, so the film magically, you know, fades out and then reappears, and this is where it becomes a supernatural film, because the killer is able to exist in our realm, our time, and what he sees is what they're watching on the film, so then he starts killing the people in theater, of course. So the first person he kills is one of the um, guys that work at the theaters, you know, taking tickets and everything. So, but there's only like five, seven people who are in the movie, and they all got their ticket taken by this guy, gave him cash, whatever. But they can't figure out who he is, even though you just saw this guy like 30 seconds ago. And then they realize one of their friends is the next one to die, and then they're like, oh shit, stuff's happening. And they slowly begin to figure it out that way. But cool concept, but really... I don't know, it's hit or miss. When they do die, they magically appear in this film. So as soon as you die, you're dragged down a hallway into the film. So they get to know who actually is left of them as they separate and they all get a glimpse of the screen. They're like, oh, well, she's dead. Okay, we're down to four. But sum it up. I mean, overall, eh, I'm, I'm kind of torn. I don't know what I really like or don't like. If I'd watch it again, I, I doubt it. But eye candy, I'm going to go with a three. Gore effects, it's actually pretty gruesome at times, so five. Memorable line scenes, yeah, three. Acting, they did a great job acting, so right in the middle, five. Average it all up, it comes to a four, and the killer, if you want to watch, he looks like he's wearing his, you know, He-Man Castle Grayskull Skeletor hat that got broke, so it's like a half Skeletor face, and that's our killer, so. Till next time, check it out if you wish, just give it a four. Thanks, guys.